चकवानी प्रेम सुषमापति महादेव की जय वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय स्वस्थान से बिगिन दिस ब्यूटीफुल नाइट कुछ ही हनुमान जी आरती ओम श्री गणेशाय नम ओम श्री सरस्वती नम ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमो नम ओ नम शिवाय ओ नम शिवाय आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला जाके पल से गिरिवार जाके भोग दोष जाके निकटन जाके जाके पल से गिरिवार काके भोग दोष जाके निकटन जाके अंजनी अंजनि अंजनि पुत्र मापलदाई चंदन के प्रभु सदा साई ओम श्री हनुमते नमः लक्ष्मण मुरचित परे सकारे आनि संजीवन प्राण उबारे ग्लोरी लॉर्ड हनुमान लक्ष्मण मुरचित परे सकारे आनि संजीवन प्राण उबारे लंका जारी सिया सुधिलाए देवीरा रघुनाथ पताए लंका जारी सिया सुधिलाए लंका से लंका से कोत समुद्र से गाए जात पवन सुत पारण लाए ओम श्री हनुमती नम जय 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 हनुमान 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 Hanuman, 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 Hanu
हनुमान की जय असले जी सब लोग कर साथ एक आशीष On this beautiful night, my dear friends, as we've come together once more to join in prayer, to join in devotion, we'd like to take this golden opportunity to welcome all. On behalf of the host and the hostess of this wonderful yagya, we say pranams, salutations, and a special welcome to each and every one. Swagatam, namaskar karta hu sab log. As we begin this divine night, we take a moment to special welcome our Pandit Ji, Pandit Dharmendra once more, bhaiya. We say special welcome once more tonight as you've come to join with us. And to once more invite the presence of the devis and the devotees in the yagya to bless us all. To the members of the celestial Gandharvas, members of my wonderful group, we extend Bhagwan's blessings to them. To my wonderful mother who is here as well, we pray to the divine Mahavir Swami to bless her and to continue to guide her and protect her. To each and every one who have come from far and near to join with us, may our Lord Mahavir Swami continue to walk with you. To create once more the divine energy and the aura of His auspiciousness. To all those who tuned in via Radio 97.5, Bhai Krish Singh Ji, once more it's a blessing to see you. Namaskar and swagatam, kavita didi, swagatam, special welcome to a beautiful night. And to all those who tuned in via Facebook and wherever you are in the world tuning in, we take this wonderful moment to specially welcome you. For tonight marks another night of devotion as we touch the feet of that great and powerful one. He's called Mahavir. But at this time, let us all sit upright. Let us close our eyes. Let us forget the entire world. As you're about to now join in invocation prayer. Om Kar, Pranam Stolar. सर्वभूतेशु दुर्गा न संस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वभूतेशु लक्ष्मी रूपे न संस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वभूतेशु सरस्वती रूपे न संस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम नमस्त 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 नमो नम चरण शरण आई के हर राजा कष्टों से रक्षा करो कष्टों से रक्षा करो पवन पुत्र हनुमान हाथ जोर बिनजी करो सुनो वे हनुमान संकट से रक्षा करो संकट से रक्षा करो ये अंजन केला 
ಪವನ ಪುತ್ರ ಹನುಮ ಪವನ ಪುತ್ರ ಹನುಮ ಅಜಿ ಬಿಗಿನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೈಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಚಾಲೀಸ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಚರಣ ಸರೋಜರಜ ನಿಜ ಮನ ಮುಕುರ ಸುಧಾ ವರ್ಣ ರಘುವರ ವಿಮಲ ಜಸು ಜೋದಾಯ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಬುದ್ಧಿಹೀನ ತನು ಜಾನಿಕೆ ಸುಮಿರ ಪವನ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಬಲ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ದೇಹಿ ಮಂಗಲ ಭವನ ಅಮಂಗಲ ಹಾರಿ ದ್ರಬಹು ಸುದಶರಥ ಅಜರ ವಿಹಾರಿ ಸುಖಕರ್ತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ದುಃಖಹರ್ತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಾನ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಗುಣ ಸಾಗರ ಜಯ ಕಪೇಶ ತ್ರಿಗುಲೋಕ ಉದಾರ ರಾಮದೂತ ಚುರಿತ ಬಲಧಾಮ ಅಜನಿ ಪುತ್ರ ಪವನ ಸುತ ನಾಮ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಮಹಾವೀರ ವಿಕರಂ ಭಜರಂಗಿ ಕುಮತಿ ನಿವಾರ ಸುಮತಿ ಕೇ ಸಂಗಿ ಭಜನ ವರನ ವಿರಾಜ ಸುವೇಶ ಆನಂದ ಕುಂದಲ ಕುಂಚತ ಅಥ ಭದ್ರ ಅರ ಧ್ವಜ ವಿರಾಜ ಕಾಂತಿಮೋಚನೇಗರ ಸುವನ ಕೇಸರಿ ನಂದನ್ ತೇಜ ಪ್ರತಾಪ ಮಹಾಜಗವಂದನ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾನ ಗುಣೇ ಅತಿ ಚಾತುರ್ ರಾಮ ತಾಜ ಕರಿಬೇಕೋ ಆದ ರವು ಚರಿತ್ರ ಸುಮಿಬೇಕೋ ರಸಿಯ ರಾಮ ಕಣ ಸೀತಾ ಮನ ಬಸಿಯ ಮಂಗಲ ಭವನ ಮಂಗಲ ಹಾರ ಸಭೌ ಸು ದಶರಥ ಅಜರ ವಿಹಾರ ಸುಖಕರತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ದುಃಖಹರತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ಸುಖಕರತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ದುಃಖಹರತ ವಿಕಟ ರೂಪ ಧರಿ ಲಂಕ ಚರಾವ ಭೀಮ ರೂಪ ಧರಿ ಅಸುರ ಸಹಾರಿ ರಾಮ ಚಂದ್ರ ದೇವಾಜ ಸವಾರಿ ರಾಯಸ ಜೀವನ ಲಖನ ಜಯಾಯ ಶ್ರೀ ರಘುವೀರ್ ಹರ ಶಿವರ ಲಾಯ ಭರಗಪತಿ ಕೇಲಿ ಬಹುತ ಬರಾಯ ತುಮ್ಮ ಮಮ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಭರತ ಸಮಬಾಯಿ ಸಹಸ ವದನ್ ಸಹಸ ವದನ ತುಮ್ಮ ರೋಜ ಸಗಾವ ಅಸಕೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಪಟಿ ಕಂಠ ಲಗಾವ ತನ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾದಿ ಮುನೀಶ ನಾರದ ಶಾರದ ಸಹಿತ ಹೀರ್ ಯಂ ಕುಬೇರ ದಿಗ ಪಾಲ ಜಾತೆ ಕವಿ ಗೋವಿದ ಕೈ ಸಖೆ ಕಾತೆ ತುಮಕುಕಾರ ಸುಗ್ರೀವ ಹಿಕೇರ್ ರಾಮ ಮಿಲಾಯ ರಾಜ ಪರದೀನ ಮಂಗಲ ಭವನ ಅಮಂಗಲ ಹಾರ ಸಭೌ ಸು ದಶರಥ ಹಜರ ವಿಹಾರ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಕಾ ಜಗತ್ ಕೇ ಜೇತೆ ಸುಗಮ ಅನುಗ್ರಹ ತುಮರೇ ತೇತೆ ರಾಮ ದುವಾರೆ ರಾಮ ದುವಾರೆ ತುಮರ ಕವಾರೆ ಓತನ ಆಜ್ಞಾ ಬಿನ್ ಪೈಸಾರೆ ಸಂಸ್ಕಲ ಹೈ ತುಮಾರೆ ಶರಣ ತುಮ ರಕ್ಷಕ ಕಾಹೂ ಗೋಧರಣ ಆಪಣ ತೇಜ ಸಮಾರೋ ವಾಪ ದಿನ ಲೋಕ ಹಾಂಕ ತೇಕಾಪ ಭೂತ ಪಿಸಾಚಿ ಕಟನ ಹಿಯಾ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಜಮನ ಮಂಗಲ ಭವನ ಅಮಂಗಲ ದಶರಥ ಅಜರ ವಿಹಾರ ಸುಖಕರತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ಸುಖಹರತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ಸುಖಕರತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ಸುಖಹರತ ಜಯ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಹನುಮತೆ ನಮಃ ಅದುಳಿ ಶಂಸ್ತಮಲ್ಲೋ ಬಜರಂಗ ಸಬೀರ 
ಜಪದ ನಿರಂತರ ಹನುಮತ ವೀರ ಸಂಕಟತೆ ಹನುಮಾನ ಸುರಾವೈ ಮರ್ಕಮ ವಚನ ಜಾನ ಜೋಲಾವೈ ಸಬ ಪರ ರಾಮ ಸಬ ಪರ ರಾಮ ತಪಸ್ವೀ ರಾಜ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾಜ ಸಕಲ ತುಮ ಸಾಜ ಔರ ಮನೋರಥ ಜೋ ಕೋಯಲಾವೈ ಸುಯಮಿತ ಜೀವನ ಪಲ ಪಾವೈ ಚಾರ ಯುಗ ಪರ ತಾಪ ತುಮಾರ ಹೈ ಪರ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಜಗತ ಉಜಿಯಾರ ಸಾಧು ಸಂತ ಕೇತು ಮರಕವಾರ ಅಸುರ ನಿಕಂದನ ರಾಮ ಜುಲಾರಿ ಅಷ್ಟ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ನವನ ದಾತ ಸಬರ ದೀನ ಜಾನಕಿ ಮಾತಂ ರಾಮ ರಸಾಯನ ತುಮರಿ ಪಾಸ ಸದಾರ ಹೋ ರಘುಪತಿ ಕೇ ದಾಸ ಮಂಗಲ ಭವನ ಮಂಗಲಹಾರ ಸಭೋ ಸು ದಶರಥ ಅಜರ ವಿಹಾರಿ ಸುಖ ಕರದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ಸುಖ ಹರದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ಸುಖ ಕರದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ಸುಖ ಹರದ ಜನ ರಾಮ ಕೋ ಪಾವೈ ಜನಮ ಜನಮ ಕೇ ಸುಖಸರಾವೈ ಅಂತ ಕಾಲ ರಘುವರ ಪುರ ಜಾಯ ಜಹ ಜನ್ಮ ಹರಿ ಭಕ್ತ ಕಹಾಯ ಔರ ದೇವತಾ ಚಿತ್ತ ನದರಹಿ ಸೇ ಸರ್ವ ಸುಖ ಕರಹಿ ಸಂಕಟ ಕಟೆ ಮಿತಿ ಸಬ ಪೀರ ಸುಮಿರ ಹನು ಸಬಲ ಪೀರ ಜಯ 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 ಹನುಮಾನ ಗುಸಾಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಕರ ಗುರು ದೇವತಿ ರಾಯ ಶತವಾರ ಪಾತ ಕರ ಕೋಯಿ ಹಿತಹಿ ಬಂದಿ ಮಹಾಸಿತ ಹೋಯಿ ದಯಾ ಪರ ಹನುಮಹ ಚಲೀತ ಹೋಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಸಾಕಿ ಗಾರೀತ ತುಲ್ಸಿದಾಸ ಸದಾ ಹರಿ ಚೇರ ಈ ಜಯನಾಥ ಹೃದಯ ಮಹದೇರ ಮಂಗಲ ಭವನ ಅಮಂಗಲ ಸಭೌ ಸುಧ ಶರತ ಅಜರ ವಿಹಾರ ಸುಖಕರತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ಅಧಿಕಾರತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ಸುಖಕರತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ ಅಧಿಕಾರತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹನುಮಂತ On this beautiful night, my dear friends, once more we will join in the golden pages of the Shri Hanuman Charitra Manas. Once more we will touch the feet of Pauna Putra. Last night we heard in a most beautiful way the eight different births. The times of the birthdays of Lord Hanuman Ji, the eight times, Ashta Siddhi. And after understanding blessings of Mahavari Swami, tonight once more we join in nectars of the strength of our Lord. Pauna Putra is the Lord of faith. He is the Lord of hope. You can think of Lord Shiva as an embodiment of peace. You can think of Adi Shakti, a divine protector, as a goddess. You can think of Lord Surya Narayan Swami as the Lord who shines on the earth and He gives us once more the the healing throughout the body that we have. But when you think of Mahavir Swami, you think of everything all together. His strength, His might, His power surpasses all. And the instrument that He uses is the power of the mind, because with mind control, He has conducted everything that He had to do. according to the beautiful epic of ram chaitra manas and he showed the world according to our last night message that even being born as the last caste of an individual his name rose to become the highest in the world from an avanar roop or the form of a monkey he was then given the title of a god mahavir swami pauna putra tonight as you're about to begin we join in a chant and then we go in depth with our scripture as we speak up the lord who is called kapindra 
and we'll hear the meaning in a few moments. Ram Bolo Ram Bolo 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 Ram Ram Bolo Ram Bolo 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 Ram Everybody with one voice, Bolo Ram Bolo Ram Bolo Ram Bolo so you all had your voice tonight. You all are powerful tonight. Tonight you will be the singers. You hear why I sang it? So after yesterday, Mahaviri Swami Sri Hanuman Jayanti, after having pujas for the entire day, after myself, members of the Silasakal Gandharvas, we went to the Dattatre Yoga Center and we sang at the feet of Mahaviri Swami. After we conducted singing last night as well, we still given me all tonight. But you all had to back me up. That is understood? Pauna Sutta Hanuman Ki All together Rama Bolo Rama Bolo 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 Ram Bolo Rama Bolo Rama Bolo 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 Everybody with one voice, Sabko Pyaari Rama Bolo
Very nice. That was a good try. <laughs> For the past two nights, we have been joining in the golden pages of Sri Hanuman Charitramana. So very rare scripture that is heard. I woke up this morning to messages of devotees around the world. This morning I got messages where devotees in different parts of the world, they tuned in to us. And you know what they say? Paniji, we wish we could be there. Paniji, when we listen to the chants and the kirtan, we are dancing in our kitchen. Some are dancing on their job because they are different parts of the world and the time is different. So while we are here tonight, in some parts of the world, devotees message me from South Africa, it's daylight. And they say on their job, while they're in the office, they lock the door in the office and they're dancing inside there too. And they're saying, you know what, I wish I could be there. This morning I had many devotees who were tuned in from Canada, from America, from, as we say, South Africa. There were India devotees tuned in as well. And they're enjoying the message. And one of the things that is common for all of their message, I wish I could be there to experience it live. And we are lucky tonight to be here. So let me hear one voice. Pawan Sutta Hanuman Ki Rama Bolo Rama Bolo 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 Ram Rama Bolo 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 Ram Bolo Bolo Ram Bolo Shri Mahavir Swami Ki Jai Tanai Bhaktas We join in the golden pages of the Shri Hanuman Charitramanas Whenever I am about to read a message A katha 99% of the time I just open the book and I say Mahavir Swami you tell me what we need to read today because you know the heart and the mind of everybody. I might come and say, you know what? I wonder what to read by. Me and oh, maybe I might read something and somebody say, oh God, I hear that already. Or maybe you might come and say, I know the story and you know, I, I know how it goes. And I say, Mahavri Swami, you're in charge. So everybody who comes here, you know the aura, you know the energy. Prabhu, when I open the book, I love it to be. Sometimes I'm coming here and my mind is thinking, you know, I don't know, maybe. And then when I open it, it just runs on a spot. And tonight... When I open the scripture, it is one of the chapters of the power of Mahaviri Swami. The entire of the Hanuman Charitramanas is based on Hanumanji, so I don't need to think twice. It must fall on his name. If you open Sri Ram Charitramanas, you're not sure because his name starts from Sundarkan. But today in this part of the chapter, according to Kapindra, that name that is heard, it is said Ravana has many sons. But while Ravana has many sons, it is said in the war and in the battlefield that was about to take place while the Lord was fighting the war, while Prabhu Ram, Lakshmana, while Jamwant, Nal, Neel, all the bears, all the monkeys, Pawanaputra, while they were fighting a war, I wanted to picture this most amazing scene. If you want to close your eyes for a second, just picture this. It is said Prabhu Rama and Lakshmana, they are standing on a rock and they are overlooking the battlefield. It is said... When they look behind them, the field is filled. It is filled with monkeys and bears. Mahaviri Swami, he's standing on a rock not too far. He's holding his gada in his hand. And he's looking at the face of Prabhu Ramachandra. And he's only waiting for the command in order to move forward. And while he's waiting, Pawanaputra, he knows that the war has started and this is the seventh day of the war according to our scripture. And on the seventh day, Prabhu Rama had fight. It is said the sons of Ravana had come to the battlefield and they had fought as well. But at this time, there's one son who has to come. Ravana is standing in his palace from way up above and he's looking down in the battlefield and he's seeing Prabhu Rama far away. And he calls his son, whose name is Indrajit. And he says, Indrajit, my son, the rest of my sons have failed. But today I have faith that you will make me proud. Because few days ago, you made me proud. When you destroyed Lakshmana and that monkey god, Sri Hanuman, he had to then bring that mountain to save him. But today, I know you can destroy the gods if you wish. I know you can destroy the monkeys and the bears if you wish. 
And that mere mortal man that is called Ram, according to him, he says, put an end to him and send him back home. You are my best and most powerful child. You are known as a sorcerer. You are known as one who can fight in any war, in any battle, and you can win. And I put my faith in you as my son. How many people tonight can put faith on your children? And how many people look at your children and say, I fed up, I don't know what to say again. How many people can rely on your children? And how many people think about their sons or their daughters and say, you know what, I really don't know. God put a hand and put a foot too. How many people, if they call their children for help, how many people when you look for your children because you need something that is important, urgent, and you need it done, you can say, you know what, Prabhu, thank you for that divine son of mine. Prabhu, thank you for the divine daughter that I've been blessed with. And how many people say, Bhagwan, I don't know what I give. The beautiful bhajan of faith will begin. We stopped last night with that bhajan. How did it go? Anybody remember? How did it go? Which one, Mom? It says, in the face of adversity, in the face of problems, every one of us have our day. Every one of us, even me, we have our days when we smile. And we have our days when we are depressed. We have our days when we are on top of the chain. And we have our days when we are wandering in the middle and wondering what next. We have our days when we sit down and we can see everything in front of us and say, you know what, thank you Prabhu. And there are days when we can sit and look and see everything in front of us which is nothing. And say, Prabhu, when and what next? We have our moments, our up and our down moments. And while we do, it is only human to experience it. But the beautiful bhajan of faith says that even when nothing works for you, have faith, don't cry, hold your strength and be strong because he's backing you up with strength and he's Mahavi. Ye jeevan bhita jayega Tujhe rona nahi ho भरोसा कर तो ईश्वर पर तुझे दो नाम नहीं होगा भरोसा कर तू ईश्वर पर तुझे रोना नहीं होगा ये जीवन भी Me the smiley baba, right? But listen what the song says. It says, Kabi sukahai, kabi dhukahai. In life, sometimes you will smile and sometimes you will not smile. Sometimes you will be happy and sometimes you won't be happy. You will experience the pairs of opposites that is called Raga Dwesh, which is happiness and sorrow. 
बट इवन वेन यू आर मिक्स विद हैपीनेस एंड सोरो कभी सुख है कभी दुख है ये जीवन धूप छाया है the heart may burn sometimes because you don't know what to do and what next even in the midst of it all he says hasse mein hi bita dalo in the midst of anything has means the love the smile he says enjoy the world when adversities come approach it with a smile when good times come smile when bad times come smile it is fine if you call you the smiley baba it's okay we can know what it's your life to live It's up to you to enjoy it, and if you can't enjoy your life, who will enjoy it? It is up to you to live your day and to appreciate and to acknowledge what Bhagwan has blessed you with. When the day is called, then you're standing before Him, and He says, "Son, child, what did you do with your life while you were on the earth? What are you going to say? Well, you know, He stressed me out and she stressed me out, so I didn't have a good time. Send me back again." It is up to you to live this one life that you have. Experience happiness and joy and sorrows. But understand, don't waste life on depressions. Get up, pick up yourself. Utish the jagrta. Get up when you fall and keep moving forward with a smile. Jo sukha aave to has de na. Jo dukha aave to sahale na. जो सुख आवे तो हंस देना जो दुख आवे तो सह लेना ना कहे ना कुछ कभी जग से ना कहे ना कुछ कभी जग से प्रभु से ही तो हरे मुरारी हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव हे नाथ नारायण शिव वृंदावन में हरिलाल की तनाई दिवोतीज प्रभु हनुमान जी स्तुर ऑन द साइड ऑफ प्रभु राम और लक्ष्मण दे वर हैविंग अ पंचायत दे वर हैविंग अ मीटिंग एंड दे वर स्पीकिंग अबाउट हाउ विल दे विल ओवरकम रावण इन द मीन टाइम रावण हैज फेथ ऑन हिज चाइल्ड इंद्रजीत ही सेज इंद्रजीत डू योर मैजिक एंड व्हाइल यू डू व्हाट यू मस्ट डू आई विल गो टू माय चेंबर्स एंड आई विल प्रे आई विल बेग द डिवाइन देवी आदि शक्ति टू कम डाउन एंड टू ब्लेस मी I will give all my services to the mother I will give it my all and I will pray with my all and she will hear my prayer and my cry and she will come down and bless me but in the meantime I need a distraction and I'm sending you to distract the lord in whatever way it may be do your part and distract the devotee that child or that personality that is called hanuman ji the personalities of jamwant and nal and neel and the monkeys and the bears do what you must to distract them How many people every single day they are distracted by the world? How many of us we are distracted by the Maya? How many of us we are distracted by prayer? How many of us we are distracted by money and wealth and power and we don't take a second to acknowledge that one day when we die none of these things will help us. We need it to survive, yes. We need it to become better people in the world physically, materialistically, but it can't help us when we leave this world. So don't run after it and become a victim of running after the things of the world. Acquire it, enjoy it, 
but remember that you must also have a space so when there's need to detach you can detach Mahavir Swami is standing next to Prabhu Ram. The afternoon has dawned and they're looking onto the field and they're wondering what now to find Sita Devi, how to win this war. They're waiting for the next warrior to come out. And you know what Indrajit did? It is said Indrajit, he decided to go behind the palace where there was the invisible forest. There was an invisible forest where through sorcery and mantras, they would have walked into the forest and when they chant their mantras, everything would have disappeared and nobody could see anything. And then with their mantras, they can awaken everything and you could see everything. Mantras are powerful. We can be blinded in the world by the reality of life. And through mantras, we can also allow everything to be seen. Do you know sometimes in this world, we become naive to situations because we choose not to understand. And until we go through a crisis and a problem, then we believe that some things may be real and some things may not. Don't allow the world to blind you from reality. Indrajit went into the forest. He sat down. He started to do a Havan Puja. And he's about to create something. Prabhu Ram is standing on the battlefield. And this is what is about to take place. They wait for a period of time. And while they're waiting, it is said suddenly now the chambers and the doorways and the gateways of Lanka it is about to be open and while it is opening Prabhu Ram, he grabs his bow he takes his quiver of arrows and he says the war is about to continue monkeys and bears and Jamwant and Nal and Neel and Mahavir Swami prepare we are about to fight let us end this war once and for all and while they are preparing for the war and the gateway have been opened who is coming out of the gateway? Indrajit sits on his chariot, he's riding on to the battlefield and on the back of the chariot sits the Divine Mother, Sita Devi Mata, because he has come with a plan. And while they see Sita Devi, Prabhu Ramachandra's heart hurts for a second. He is now seeing Sita Devi since she has been abducted and his heart will flutter. He looks at Lakshman and says, Bhaiya, Dekona, Dekona, Avo, Sita Maji, Sita Devi is there. Everybody don't shoot anything. Don't shoot an arrow. Don't shoot. We can't hurt the mother. And everybody bend the arrow down. And they're looking onto the field. And they're about to witness what is about to happen. And Indrajit, he sees everybody dropping their arrows. He sees Mahavir Swami placing down his gada. And he says that is their weak point. Because they've seen the mother. And this is what he decides to do. He turns around at her. He walks up to her. Everybody's looking, everybody stops. Indrajit walks up to Sita Devi and he takes his hand and he wraps it around her hair and he pulls her in the chariot. When Prabhu Ram saw that, it is said Prabhu Ramachandra folded his arms, but yet he tried to keep his cool. Lakshmana says, Prabhu, give me the warning, give me that moment, give me the, the blessing and let me go. Mahavir Swami, he grabbed very tightly his gada. Because nobody wants to see the mother hurt. And Prabhu Ram says, everybody, Shanto Jai, cool down. Because if you make a hasty decision, we can lose the mother forever. And when the Lord looks at her, it is said, Indrajit pulled her by the hair. And he grabbed her in his hand. And he took his sword and he says, today, is this what everybody's fighting for? Everybody's fighting for this mother? And he takes his sword and he says, today, I will behead her. And in the middle of the field, Prabhu Ram heart hurts. How can a mother be tortured like this? Mahavir Swami's eyes start filling with tears. And with the tears, listen my dear friends. Shri Ram Jai Rama Jai Jai Rama Shri Ram Jai Rama Jai Jai Rama oh. Lord Ram, eyes filled with tears. Pawanaputra says, why are they torturing the mother? What has she done to deserve that? Why are they suffering Devi Mata? What did she do to deserve that? And they're looking at Devi as they pull her hair like this. It is said, Indrajit pulled the hair and the mother holds on to the hair. She's crying out. And who does she call? Ram! And Prabhu Ram holds on to his heart. How to help her without hurting her? 
श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओ इफ यू सी समबडी एनी डे स्टैंड अप टू हर्ट योर मदर विल यू स्टैंड अप फॉर हर to those whose mothers are alive if you see somebody walking up to hurt your mother what will you do if you see somebody about to hurt your father what will you do mahavir swami grabs the kara prabhu ka man me and prabhu says shant ho jaye vit don't destroy anybody sita mata is in the hand her hair is in the hand of indrajit we can't do any hasty decision making to hurt her we sing tonight श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम second and think about your mother i'll give you this opportunity tonight it is the day after shri hanuman jayanti we will pray to lord hanuman ji to reach our mothers my mother is here thank god to those whose mothers are alive think of them in your mind and pray for them and to those whose mothers aren't alive close your eyes and say prabhu give me this moment to send a message to her If she is not alive, Prabhu, wherever she may be, if at any point in your life you hurt your mother and you never got the opportunity to say sorry, ma, say it tonight. Mahavir Swami will take the message to her. If one day in your life you raise your voice at her and you need to say, Prabhu, I want you to allow me to ask for forgiveness. Please send it to my mother. If at any day you disrespected her, you hurt her in any way, and she's not here. Close your eyes and say, Lord, send my prayer. I apologize. Please, Lord, make my mother happy wherever she is. And if your mother's alive, and you know sometimes you may yell or you may raise your voice, then don't do it anymore. Then the next time you see her, then apologize. Clear your path. Prabhu Ramachandra sees Sita Devi sitting there, and she starts to shed tears. Ram. and he looks at her and he turns the other side he can't bear to see the sight of the mother hurt and mahavir swami says batao na tell me i will destroy him immediately and it is said as those tears will turn into blood pavana putra says prabhu what are you waiting for राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओ राम जय राम जय जय राम राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओ इन इमिट्स ऑफ द एंटायर सिचुएशन प्रभु रामचंद्र स्टूड राइट है
and he didn't know what to do. And then he looks at Mahaviri Swami, Pavanaputra, I can't bear it anymore. It feels provoking at this point. Don't hurt the mother in front of me. It feels provoking. Mahaviri Swami, I'm commanding you now. And at that point, Pavanaputra looks at the Lord and he says, Prabhu, you're bearing too much. Sometimes in the world you will live in, people will provoke you. Not so? People will see you climbing up the ladder sometimes and they will literally come and provoke you to see when you will fall and how you will fall. People will wait to find a fault in you so that they could criticize you. The, the world today is a part in which we are living where you need to tread that line properly. Otherwise, people are ready to bring you down. Teach your children how to live a good life of character. Teach our children how to live a good life of morality and good values. Because the world is waiting to grab and to pull them down. Take care of your daughters and your sons and teach them the right way of life. Because the world is waiting to provoke them and bring out the worst in them. In the world that we live in, we will have many friends. Some will bring out the best in you and some will bring out the worst in you. What kind of friends you have? Some will provoke you so that they will get the worst side of you and then they will laugh at you and criticize you. And some will be genuine to stand with you, to correct you, to stand side by side and support you and make sure you take the right path. What kind of friends do you have? If you have friends who don't support you, those are not friends to keep. And if you have friends, how the hazard is go? A friend in need is a friend indeed. Check your friends and see how much true friends you really have. Today when Prabhu Ramachandra feels, at that point he feels provoked. He says, Bajarangabali, I can't deal with it anymore. And at that point, Jampan walks up now and he says, Prabhu, let me tell you so that you can calm yourself. According to one of the scriptures, it says, Kate kantaha kashte putraha Yah samsaro miteva vichitraha He says, Kasyatvam kaha kuta ayataha Tattvam chintaya tarahi brataha Kate kantaha kashte putraha Putra means what? Putraha means what? You all know putra? Who? A son. Putra means a son. Kate kantaha Kantaha means a wife in Sanskrit. Adi Shankaracharya sat down to teach many great saints on the banks of the Yamuna Nadi. And he's teaching them mind control. And he says, one day you will be in a family life and you might have a wife and you'll have children. But always remember that at some point, even though you love them so much, don't let them go. But just leave a little space. Because one day you may wake up and you might lose one. And your life will be destroyed if you're really so as we say, attached. And he goes to anything in the world. He says, Kate kantaha kashte putraha. Who is your wife? Who is your son? Who are the people around you? This body is made up of what? Flesh, bones, blood. But yet we are attracted to the body that is filled with flesh and bones and blood. And blood. Kasya tvam kaha kutta ayataha tattvam chintaya tarahi brataha He says, Hold on, but leave a little space in the event of. Have you ever heard the little kahani about the porcupines in the coal? It is said there were, there were about 15 porcupines together and they were in the cold. It was snowing and they were trembling. While they were trembling, it is said at that point, they decided now to come together so that they could now get some warmth, some body warmth. But when they came together to get the body warmth, the porcupine is what? Yeah. There is Africa. When they came together, because they were trying to become so warm, it is said their picker, their thorns were sticking one another. And they would hurt one another and blood would ooze from them because they're sticking one another. If they were to spread apart, they will die. And if they come too close, they will choke themselves and they will die. So they came up with a plan that we will come close, but not too close. Just close enough so that we wouldn't poke one another, but close enough to get warmth from one another. We must learn to live in society where we will have people that we will laugh with and we will have friends and we will have people we associate with. Be close, 
But leave a space. Don't get too close because you might get choked. Not so? Many times we get ourselves too involved and too close with people's lives. And one day when it happens, then you say, you know what? I should have known. Today our message is learn from example. Learn from the world. When Prabhu Ramachandra looked at Mahavir Swami, he says, Pamana Putra, I can't do it anymore. Prabhu, do what you must. And Mahavir Swami looked at Jamwant and the monkeys and the bears and he says, let's go. We will take back Sita Devi. And they decide to run down into the fields. And while they're running down, Bajaranga Bali, he will call out to his Lord in victory. Jai Shri Ram! And he will run down into the field. And while he's running down, he reaches up to the chariot of Indrajit. And he raises the gala in the air. And he's about to charge and hit at the chariot. And as soon as he raises the gala and he hits with a blow, the whole chariot disappears at that point. Everything disappears. The chariot with Sita Devi disappears. The chariot where Indrajit is there disappears. And he's stopped. And all the monkeys have run into the field. And there's nobody there. And they start looking around. Where is she? Where is she? Where is that divine mother? And nobody was seen. What was it? And there Vibhishan came. And he says, Prabhu, don't you know? Prabhu, your heart is hurt looking at Sita Devi being tortured. But don't you know the power of sorcery? Don't you know how easy it is for people to fool you up? Tonight, how easy it is for people to fool you up? People come easy, easy, and they talk to you nice, nice, and they mama guy you up and thing. And when they're done, they fool you up and they take everything you have. People will come and they will come really nice and close to you. And they will seem to be the best people. That doesn't mean they may like you. They will come and fool you up and take everything. Remember that you don't need to take anything of the world because you are everything that you are and that you've been born to be. One of the problems that people find in themselves and find themselves running about in the world is that they forget that they don't need anything in the world. They are everything that Bhagwan has created them to be. According to one of the guidance of Prabhu Shankar Bolina, Prabhu Shankar says that we run after desires in the world. Running after desires is not a problem. Running after things in the world is not a problem. But the poison accumulating something is the problem. Want anything that you want. But the poison that comes from accumulating it is the problem. What is the poison? Some people may want something and they will work hard and try to get it, which is fine. And when you get it, you're happy and you're good. But some people will live their lives and they will think with the mentality, until I get that something, I will not be happy. That's the difference. Do not live with desires in the world in such a way that you depend on things of the world to be happy. You are happiness in itself. You can make yourself happy. The best example I always tell people, take a child and put the child in your room. Take a little baby or maybe a two-year-old and put them in a room and just close them up and just put probably one toy or just leave them inside there. And they will walk inside and they might cry for half an hour. But then they will get up and start to look for something. They might dig a little something in the ground. They might go by the window and look for something or they might see a little ants and they will start to play a little game. Or they might see something or they might see squares on the tiles and they will start to make, they might jump and make a little game out of that. Or they will find something to do and they will make themselves happy. And then you look and say, but wait now. He's so quiet because look at him, he finds something to do inside there. Take a big man and put him in a room for half an hour and take away phone and see what will happen. Eh? After that, he's a mess. <laughs> take a grown woman today, take a young girl today, take our youth today and put them in a room for half an hour and take away technology, that's all. And their life goes upside down. They can't survive. They will get anxiety. They will get trouble to breed. Then Arish, <laughs> look at the difference. Because a child doesn't depend on anything in the world to be happy. The child finds happiness from himself within. Whereas a big person, as we are today, we depend too much on things to make us happy. We depend on people to make us happy. And we say, if I don't get it, I won't be happy. Don't live like that, my dear friends. Learn to be happy with who you are. The desire is not the problem. But achieving the desire, the poison of the desire is the problem. Today when Prabhu Shankar speaks of that, he says, Chittam Mantraha. The only thing that can allow you to acknowledge that divinity and to acknowledge or awaken what is happiness within you is Chittam Mantraha. Mantras and prayer. Sing. 
pray, glorify Prabhu, learn to do your devotion, forget the world sometimes and just acknowledge that Bhagwan is blessing you. And if you can acknowledge that, then everything will work for you. While Sita Mata was being tormented in front of everybody, it was recognized and it, it was in the same axis. It was in the same way. In Bhagavatam, what had happened? It is said, Draupadi sat in her room and she was combing her hair. And while she was combing her hair, Duryodhana, he barged into the room because she was playing a game of dice. And he won. They bet Draupadi in a game of dice. And he won Draupadi and she's in her room combing her hair. She doesn't know anything. She didn't know that she was part of the gamble and she was being gambled away. And she's sitting and playing with her hair and she's combing. And Duryodhana walks in the room and he says, Draupadi, you belong to us now, the core of us. Come, let's go downstairs. She says, what are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere, I'm fixing myself. And he says, you have been lost in a game of dice. And the same thing happened. He took his hand and he wrapped it in her hair. And he pulled her. And he dragged her down the stairs. And when he dragged her down, he threw her in the middle of the hall and everybody was standing there. She started to ask, what is going on here? And nobody could answer. She saw the five Pandavas, Nal, Neel, Sahadev, Yudhishthir, Bhim. They were standing in a circle. She says, somebody help me. And Duryodhana says, you wanted to laugh at me one day? He says, today I will torture you in front of everybody. Somebody walk up to her and pull out her sari and disrobe her, embarrass her. And they walked up to her. And when they started to pull the sari, she starts to call, no, 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 somebody help me, please. And nobody could help her because they've lost a game of dice. And as it is said in Bhagavatam, it is said when Duryodhana decided to send so many of the men to pull the sari and to disrobe her, they started to pull and she's holding on like this with the sari. Until at one point, one of the hand couldn't hold anymore. So she let go and she was just holding on to one more. And she's begging somebody help me, please. And there was nobody to help her. And she closed her eyes and while tears are flowing, she called out for somebody to help her. And she thought of her Lord. When you're in a crisis and people are pulling you from side to side, it is said she thought of her Lord. And then suddenly at that point now, when she opened her eyes, she let go of the sari and she totally said at that point, you know what? Everything by His grace and His compassion. And then high above in the air, she saw Him coming down to protect her. It is said while they were pulling the sari from one end to the other, and they were thinking that they would disrobe her, He was standing in one side. And his hand was raised in the air and saris upon saris were coming. While they coming to Draupadi right here, they were pulling here and the saris coming from one end to the next. And she couldn't be disrobed or embarrassed because she had faith in her Lord. Draupadi ne jab tumhi pukara, sari yana bahai, sari yana bahai. She stopped and she says, nobody wants to help me. And when she looked in the air with her hands like this and she saw saris coming. Who's giving her the sari? My brother is protecting me today. Who? Shri Radhe Govinda Gopala Tera Pyara Nama Hai Shri Radhe Govinda Gopala Tera
जमुना तत पर नंद किला मुरली मधुर बजाई मुरली मधुर बजाई जमुना तत पर नंद किला मुरली मधुर बजाई मुरली मधुर बजाई गावालो संग देखो काना माकण मिश्री काये हो माकण मिश्री काये श्री राजे गोविंदा गोपाला तेरा Shivrindavan Bihari Lala Ki Jai! It is said, friends, at that point when Mahaviri Swami realized that this was just sorcery, he spoke to Prabhu Ramachandra and he says something must be done. At that point, it is said, the brother of Ravana, Vibhish, and he says, you know what? Mahaviri Swami, Jambant, Nal Neel, let us go into the forest. I know something. You know what? Every time Indrajit is about to do his sorcery, he goes into the invisible forest. I will take you there. And while he's taking them there, they reach now open land. And they can't see anything. Mahavir Swami says, how far more we must walk? He says, you don't have to walk anywhere again. He says, everybody close eyes. And they're about to say a prayer. And he starts to chant certain mantras to allow the scene or the forested path to be shown once more. Many times our mind will be clouded by many things. But mantras and prayer is what will allow everything to be visibly seen. Do you remember this song? Mere man me basse hai Ram. Or Mere. Your song like all you know it. Let me try one more time. Mere man me basse hai Ram. मेरे तन में बसे चिदानंद रूप शिवो हम शिवो हम चिदानंद रूप शिवो हम शिवो हम When the mind is calm and you chant the mantra the miracles happen. In order for mantras to be powerful, the mind must be steady and calm. You can't be praying to Prabhu or sitting in the ambience, but your mind is all over the place. You must be calm and pray, and mantras will control the mind. Mantra will control the mind. Mahaviri Swami says, so a mantra will allow us to see the whole forest? And Vibhishan says, yes, wait. And he put his hands together. And he starts to chant. And while he's chanting now, Suddenly, right just before them, everything is gradually being revealed. The forest, the trees are starting to be shown and seen. And Mahavid Swami couldn't believe it. He's seeing everything in the entire forest is there. And while he sees the forest, suddenly now we see smoke coming from a certain point. And he says, oh, so now I know where we have to go. So Jamwant, Nal Neel, a few of the monkeys, Paunaputra, Vibhishan, they walk into the forest. And while they're walking now, Vibhishan says, listen, Pavanaputra, you take care of the people who are protecting him because Indrajit may be sitting and doing yajna to create the sorcery. He says, I will take care of Indrajit. And there Vibhishan goes to speak to Indrajit and Pavanaputra, he goes now to see who's there and who are the warriors who are there. While he decides to go, they stand behind some of the trees and they're seeing a havan taking place. And while the havan is taking place, they said the havan is blazing. And Indrajit is making his arpan, his offering into the fire. But the mantras of sorcery are being said. And through the havan puja, Agni Devata, it is said blazing as he is. Agni Devata comes out of the fire and he steps on the earth. And at that point, he opens his hands and in his hands, you can see golden weapons. 
you could see sorcery weapons coming out of his hands and he's giving it to Indrajit. While he's giving it to Indrajit, Katha says that at that point when he's about to fight this war, Indrajit is getting weapons from Agnidev. Weapons that even snakes and serpents can control. And at that point, Mahaviri Swami, he says, I will take care of everything else. Vibhishan, you take care of your nephew. When Paunaputra decided to go, he put his hands first and he says, you know what? I've seen serpent gods and I'm seeing Agni Devta. So he called for help at that point. And when he called for help, he started to chant that most powerful mantra. He Vishnu ko sayyapi sunane wale He Shankar ki gale ko bajane wale Naga Devata Trahima Pahima Naga Devata Trahima Pahima He sees serpents coming out of the fire and they're turning into weapons. It is self on one and he calls Indrajit. And then Jujit gets up and he walks away. And Mahaviri Swami walks up to him or to the fire that is taking place. And he sees Agni ablaze and Agni is coming out. And Pauna Putra goes and he puts his hands together and he says, Agni, do you remember me? Agni Dev, do you remember who I am? And Agni Dev stops with all the weapons. And he says, Mahavir, I have different forms. But every one of my form respects you. From the day you had fallen from the sky and from the day in which we were now, we couldn't breathe anymore. Pawan Dev told the world that if we don't bless you with a gift, then he will take away the air of the universe. And today, I acknowledge you as Pawana Putra. I know that as a fire, I can't touch you. As a fire God, I can't hurt you in any way. And Pawana Putra says, well, whatever forms you may have, Today it is time that you go back to the skies and you end everything that you're doing here. Because you are going against my Lord and if you go against my Lord, you go against me. And if you know from my birth that you can't come around me as Mahaviri Swami, then Jai Shri Ram! Then today, take your fire and go back to where you've come from. And Paunaputra looks at Agni Dev and in an angry manner, he says, don't stay here longer. There are different types of Agni. There are different types of fire. As a recap to remind devotees, when you sit to light your dia in your home and you're about to light a dia and you start chanting, Lakshmi Karotu Kalyanam Arogyam Sukasamparam When you invite that light that is lit on your dia, that light is called Lakshmi Agni. Tell me something. When you're doing a Havan Puja like we're doing in Yajna, you're going to invite Agni Dev to partake of Prasad. Do you think the Agni that is taking Prasad is the same Agni that is lighting a, that is in India? It is a different fire. Next question. When somebody dies, you go to the cremation site and you light a fire by the Chitta. Do you think the same Agni that you're offering Om Namah Shivai Swaha is the same Agni that is burning that person who has died? Do you think the same Agni in the fire is the same one eating flesh now? Do you think the same Jai Lakshmi Mata? Do you think the same Lakshmi Agni in the Diya is the same Agni that is burning down a forest or burning down a house? They are different Agni. It is not the light. Some people have said already, my whole field burned down and every day I light in the air for Mother Lakshmi. Why should you do that for? They are different Agni Dev. When a child is born in a home, up until we say, up until 40 days, the home is called? How you call it? Starts with C. Uh -huh. Yeah, how you call it? Jai Bhagawan. Yeah, the old people used to tell me that. But like all you know, nothing. <laughs> we must learn from the older people. The, the words, I was doing puja recently. Pandiji, we would use these words all the time. When you're doing prayers and you reach now to 
take the taria and you have the samargi, the pandit tells you take the taria and do what? What do you call it? Sane. What is sane? Mix up everything. Yeah. What is kache? Scrape it on like this now. You've almost finished, so you pull on everything, so you can't see. What is bore? Yeah. Somebody say, like, buddy, you're eating roti and tomato shuka. You're like this. You're dipping. <laughs> when the home becomes unclean for the, up until the 40 days, it is called chutihar. Not so? The house becomes chutihar. So, you know what happened? And because that child has come from a womb with fluids, because a mother has given birth in the world, it is said the mother, the child, the home becomes Chutihar for 40 days. But according to the book of Sanskars by Srila Prabhupada, it is said in that period of time, on the on the sixth day, on the twelfth day, and on the 30th day, Sanskars are about or supposed to be performed. We know on the sixth day and on the twelfth day we do something. We call it the Barayani. And the what? Chutney, yeah. No, not chutney. <laughs> That's what we do. We say Barari and we hold in a party now because the child born, so we have a chutney night. No, the Barari and the chutney. What are you supposed to do on the night of the Barari and chutney? What are you supposed to do? I could tell you what to do. You must call Biraha Raja here. <laughs> And he will give you the nice songs to go with it. You know what they do? The sixth day and the twelfth day is when they take the child. And they rub down the child. And they bathe the baby on the morning of the sixth day and the twelfth day with the different holy waters or the holy leaves. And on that day, the father throws up the child in the air. And you say, what? Not my child. He throwing up my child. The father throws up the child in the air. Why? Because on that day, mantras are said, the father does a hawan. Listen, eh? The father does a how one people say, but the Baba, you can't do prayers, you have to her. I'll tell you about that. Some people say you're not supposed to light the fire there or say any prayers because the house is unclean, it's called Chuti Har. The father is supposed to do Hawan on his sixth day and on his twelfth day. And on his sixth day, when he does the Hawan, after the Hawan, he takes the child and he holds the child in the hand and he throws the child in the air and he catches back the child. And he said on that day when the child is thrown into the air as a newborn into the world, that child will become scared being thrown into the skies and that child will try to grab for something but there's nothing to hold on in mid-air. And from that moment, the child has now taken birth. But from that very moment, that mind just automatically clicks. And that child knows in mid-air from today, I will not depend to hold on on anybody, but a form of independence come to the mind of the child. From today, I had nothing to grab while growing up. All the insights are coming in. While growing up, I will always learn to be an independent person because I had nothing to hold on to when I came into the world. The father throws up the child to allow the child to awaken the mark on the mind of being an independent personality. And then the twelfth day come and he do a Hawan Puja again and we see the house Truthy Har. And what does he do on the twelfth day? That is when they put the child in the basket and they pull the child through the house and they start to beat pot and pan and make noise and they, yeah, the soup. But if you say soup, someone might get hungry. So <laughs> they take the pot and pan and so on and they pull it through the house and we make noise. Why? To wake up the energies of the child. So the sounds will not allow the child to become scared from the world but be brave and be strong. That is why they make noise. The child will cry and then the child will stop and it will become normal. And the child will say, you know what, while growing up, I will learn to lock out the noise of the world and I will become independent and brave in this world. Everything has a reason why we do it. And then in 30 day, three zero, one month after, we will have the Nam Karana Sanskar to name the baby now. We'll actually formally give the child the name. So before that one month, we're gonna call the baby. We are you going to call you, baby? Mommy, why you call me? <laughs> kuchi, kuchi, ku. Do, do. <laughs> Anything come to your mouth, you call the child that, not so? Anything. But on that 30 day, you do a next hawan. The house isn't clean as yet. But you do a hawan and you do a prayer. And you name the child that day. And you hold the child to the deuters and the baby. And you hold the child to the son. 
and you hold the child to the earth. And you say, Lord, today with the Sankalp, I'm naming my child according to the date of birth, according to the stars and the nakshatras. From today, my child's name will be. And you name the child with the pundit then with the prayer being done. And when you finish, you come by everybody now and you lift the baby and say, everybody, today my child has been given a name. And the name is, and you now sanction the name to the world that this is the name of my child. But it was sanctioned with a sanskar, a prayer, and Bhagwan. Even though people say Stutihar, the pundits are supposed to know now. Even though we say the house is unclean, how could they do prayers? Different type of Agni. The Agni in the fire, Mother Lakshmi Agni, is not the same as the one burning down a forest. The one burning down the forest is not as the one in the Havankun. The Agni in the Havankun is not the one that we call Kravyadam Agni or the one that is in the cremation site. The one that is done on the sixth day, on the twelfth day, he is not Lakshmi Agni, he is not Kravyada Agni, he is not the Havan Agni. He is called Chandra Agni because he is about to be lit in auspiciousness, to create auspiciousness in this time of the Chutihar period. And in one month, he is then called Mangal Agni. So the pundits will chant the mantra, Om Shri Agni Devutaya Namaha. Chandra Agni Namaha. Chandra Agni come in this form because the house is Shutihar. Or oh, one month for the sanskar. Om Shri Mangal Agni Namaha. Mangal Agni, I'm calling you because the house is Shutihar. Or oh, we have a Yagya. Om Idam Agni Namaha. Iti Shri Agni Namaha. Matra Mantra Pushpam. Ang 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 Agni Devuta Namaha. Pavakas Namasya. Shandil Gotra. The Gotra. Idam Agni Namaha, and we call the Agni. Or you light the Diya, Siddhi Bodhi Prade Devi. Lakshmi Agni come now. Or you go to the cremation side, Kravadya Magni. I'm not calling you to eat Parsad. You have to take this body with you now. Different types of Agni. Hanuman Baba says, you can be of any type of Agni. Today, Jai Shri Ram. Leave, or you won't be able to survive. The power of Mahaviri Swami. In the scripture today, when Pawanaputra, he spoke his words to Agni. It is said, Agni packed everything and he disappeared. And in the meantime, Vibhishan went to Indrajit. And he says, Indrajit, it is time to stop all this sorcery. And you know what Indrajit says? He says, wow. And he gave him a clap. And he says, uncle, my uncle, you've come to talk to me today. You are the traitor who left the Rakshasa family. Family is supposed to stick together, but you get up and you walk out to go by the enemy. And you come to give me advice today? He says, today I will tell you, leave this place and go. Because you've turned your back on your own family. How many people turn their backs on their own family? How many children today stand up and fight in their own home and they pack up and they walk out and they turn their back on their family? How many children today, because of a relationship, Probably because of something in their home. They pack their bag and they walk out and they go on. And they turn their back on their family. But you know something? The day they get kicked outside, where they coming back? Right back home. We live in a very different world today. This nephew is saying, Uncle, you have left this family and you've gone. I can't respect you anymore. And at that point, what Vibhishan says, he says, no problem. I will stand in his family if you want me to stand. But family help one another. They don't abuse one another. Family stick together. They don't kick one another. The family that prays together. What? Well, this song like all they don't fall apart. <laughs> the family that prays together. Yeah. Power of Sutta Hanuman Eki. Never walk out on your home. We may have situations. The reality of the world, where a brother stops talking to a brother and he says, well, you don't understand. This is Atlantic and you don't know. You don't know what's going on. So I have nothing to do with him again. No matter what there may be in the world, whether it's against money or land or wealth or a house or some situation, maybe deal with it in whatever way you want. But as we say, blood flows through the veins of everyone. Allow things to pass in your mind. If you think that I pray every day and God hears my prayer and I don't need to talk to Him and I don't need to do that, your lifestyle tells about you. 
Your lifestyle says something about you. It is not how much prayers you could do and not because I pray to God, I don't need to talk to anybody. The mentality of you being there not to be able to talk or to do something or to act further is something in your deep conscience and your consciousness that will always keep you down. You must be conscious free in order for Bhagwan to hear your prayer. If Bhagwan needs to enter the heart, there must not be anything. No grudges, no criticism, nothing holding back. It must be free and there must be space for Bhagwan to shine inside there. There must be nothing that is keeping you back. Today, the nephew says, uncle, you turn your back. And there Vibhishan says, I didn't turn my back. A family sticks together. Where was I living? I was living in the middle, in a little kutia in Lanka. But where were you living? In the palace. I was put out long before. And you know why? Because I said Jai Sri Ram one day. People will walk away from you when you turn to God. When you pray with a pure heart, people will walk away from you. God will instruct. You know, one day, a devotee came at me and said, Pandit, I'm having so much problems. I don't know what to do in my life anymore. Give me a fasting or a prayer to do because I don't know. I'm fighting with my home and I'm fighting with my friends and everything. And I said, okay, well, here's what. I'm not a person to wave a wand and make a miracle happen. I tell them straight up. But I'll give you a mantra and you pray and your faith will create a miracle. And that person went home and started to do job and started to pray. And two days after, the person called me and said, Paniji, you did something wrong. I said, what do I do wrong? Well, the minute I start that prayer that you give me, my son back up and he walk out. And my job, my friends stop talking to me. Everybody leave for good now. What kind of prayers you give me? And I said, you know what? Like I said, I am not the one waving the wand. If you pray to God, He will automatically move away your troubles and He will leave all the good things there. It is how you see it. Maybe you wanted to hold on to this friend and that friend and it didn't work in your favor. But Bhagwan knows that they were not supposed to be there. So your prayer worked. And they left. But you didn't see it like that. Pray and let the negativity of your life disappear. Not everybody will always be in your favor. Those who are there, treasure them. People who support you, treasure them. People who stand with you, treasure them. Today, my friends, it is said when Vibhishan stood there, he says, I didn't abandon anybody. But you all put me out way long before. And today I'm standing up for righteousness. And I'm standing up for truth. You know there's a saying, when people stand up for truth, people don't like them at all. It's only when you stand up and you say the right thing, people is vexed with you, no? so? Say all the bad things in the world and people go laugh and they go follow you and they go go with the flow. You know what? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Nah, yeah, you know? He really like that and she really like that. Go and do the bad things in the world and you'll get popular. Do the bad things in the world and people will favor you. We're living in Kali Yoga right now. Do all the negative things in the world and people will love you. But do something good and see if anybody can recognize you. Do something good and see if anybody will take you on. Take a day in your life and say, you know what? I want to thank God for what I have. I'm going to have a big puja, a yajna. And in this yajna, I'm going to thank Prabhu. Everybody come and pray with me because I want to thank God for what I have. And see how much people come out. You might be able to count them. But say, you know what? I'm going to thank God for what I have and I'm going to call on a whole orchestra. And let we just eat and drink whatever we want. And let's celebrate anyhow we please. And see how much people come. You have to block the road all the way from down there. When you stand up for truth and you turn to God, people will walk away. But when you go in this world, you live in this world, and you try to live a rogue's life, the world will love you. You know why? Because this is Kali Yoga. Do not live for people. Live for who you are. Lagana to Masay Lagabete Lagana to Masay Lagabete Johoga de Kajayega Lagana to Masay Lagabete Lagana to Masay Lagabete Johoga
कभी दुनिया से धरती थे कभी दुनिया से धर देते छुपाए यार करते थे लो अब परदा उधा बैठे लो अब परदा उधा बैठे जो होगा Vibhishan at that point in time, he doesn't know what to do. He says, Nabiu, please give up your traits. Don't do it like this. You will lose your life. But he doesn't listen. And while he doesn't listen, at that point now, Mahavir Swami sends some of the monkeys and the bears to call the Lord. And he said they've gone to Prabhu Ramachandra. And when Prabhu Ramachandra sees them, the monkeys put their hands together, Prabhu, we have found the one that is called Indrajit, who's creating pain in your heart. Do you want to destroy him? And their Prabhu turns to Lakshman and he says, Bhaiya, you are everything to me. Go and you will destroy him. That person who wants to bring pain in my life. And Lakshmana goes and he stands not too far and he sees Indrajit and a fight is about to begin. कभी यहाँ का था दुनिया कभी यहाँ का था दुनिया हमें बदनाम कर देगी लगन तुम से शरम अब बीच का बेटे शरणम अब बीच का बेटे जो होगा देखा जाएगा वृंदावन भी हरी लाल की यू नो वर हैपेंस इट इज सेड प्रभु राम चंद्र दी साइड्स तो सन लक्ष्मणा अन लक्ष्मणा गोज नाउ अन ही सीज इन अ डिस्टेंट he sees Indrajit. He says, you, you are the one who has created pain in the heart of my brother. I won't tolerate it anymore. And at that point, he remembers him because this was the same one. This was the same one who had shot him with the arrow. Indrajit was the one who put him down in a swoon and they had to get the Sanjeevani. And Lakshmana remembers. And he says, today, we will have to put an end to it. And Lakshmana stands there. And while he's about to now aim with an arrow, at that point, Indrajit, he pulls out the serpent ashtra. He pulls out the serpent weapon. And he's about to throw the serpent weapon. The same weapon that will wrap around Lakshmana and allow him to fall. And before anything, it is said in his skies, somebody is looking down. Who is looking down from above? Narayan, Narayan. The great Narada, he's from above, and he sees this fight is about to take place. And when he sees Indrajit mounting the arrow of the snakes and the serpents, Narada turns above. He says, Vishnu Prabhu, you must send your help now. And bursting from the skies, it is said coming down to the earth with his wings all stretched out. It is said the snakes will fear who? It is said Garuda, the vehicle of Lord Vishnu. He flies in the air and he circles this spot. And while he's circling his spot, as Garuda comes down, he goes to that spot where the snakes are there. And it is said all the snakes are seeing the beak of Garuda. And they disappear. They run in all directions. They went to all different parts. And they disappeared. And now the war will take place with Lakshmana and with Indrajit. 
they will fight back and forth arrows will be exchanged back and forth and Lakshmana feels as though he can't win because Indrajit is working with sorcery and he turns to who? Jai Shri Ram he turns to Mahavir Swami and he says Pawanaputra today you will have to help me to win this battle and Mahavir Swami says mount your arrow and pull it and as soon as Lakshmana pulls on the arrow Mahavir Swami Jai Shri Ram he sits on the tip of the arrow and he says today he will destroy him and as soon as the arrow is released in midair he's sitting on the arrow and he's riding and he's going now with an arrow and with the gada and with the mukdar Jai Shri Ram Jai Shri Ram Jai Shri Ram Jai Shri Ram and while he's going in midair it is said he expands his form and he becomes powerful and when he grows on the arrow itself the arrow shoots at the heart of Indrajit and it is said with one blow of the Mukdar Jai Shri Ram he hits him onto the floor and at that point Indrajit breathed his last moment and Narad Muni looks down and he applauds him it is said Lakshmana smiles and the news starts to spread that Indrajit is no more when you stand as an enemy to Prabhu you will not stand long Power Sudha Hanuman Ki Kabalo ke hamare kabariya ho bajaranga bali Kabalo ke hamare kabariya ho bajaranga bali Bajaranga bali, bajaranga bali, bajaranga bali Bajaranga bali, bajaranga bali, bajaranga bali Kabalo ke hamare kabariya ho Kaliyo ke kapala pita na chore, pita na chore, rama pita na chore. Kaliyo ke kapala pita na chore, pita na chore, rama pita na chore. Parishuna Ram, Parishuna Ram ki nagariya ho, Parishuna Ram ki nagariya ho, Bajaranga Bal. Bajaranga Bali, 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 Bajaranga he helped in destroying Indrajit and then he went back to his Lord Sri Ram and he put his hands together and he says Prabhu didn't I tell you no matter what may be disturbing your mind just think of me and I will be there to resolve everything tonight not many people have acknowledged the strength and the power of Pawanaputra Pawanaputra may not just be a physical murti form that we see Vana Roop he works with the air he's everywhere he works with the strength that you feel in your body. He's running through the veins of your body. You just need to think of him and wake him up. You just need to think of him and all you can see. It is said whenever he hears that name Sri Ram, he leaves everywhere he comes. All you need to do is say, Jai Shri. Everybody, Jai. Pavana Sudha Hanuman Ki Jai. With this, my friends, we end our beautiful message tonight. We've seen once more the greatness of Mahavari Swami. And tomorrow night we will continue. But at this time, before we go further, I know how one puja has been done. We have the Purnahuti in a few moments. But every time I see Mr. Hazari, I must call you to say a little word. You know that. Don't run. <laughs> I invite you to say a few words. And then we also have Bera Raja Bhaiya. We will invite you to give us a beautiful song, a wonderful dedication in our wonderful Sri Hanuman Yagya. 
This year, since the yagya started, they had danced yet, so you could give them a nice one. And then we will join in our beautiful arti. Thank you, of course, Reverend VSG, Pandit Narad, members of the group on stage, Shrotas, members of the, the family here, friends, well wishers, ladies and gentlemen. I sat here today and I remember one thing in this life. Learning doesn't end after you pass the last exam. It must continue until you take your last breath. Today I sat here and I learned a lot. And when I, I you could feel that energy flowing. Baba, you were very, very energetic and fiery here tonight. And you were very focused. You see, we must we all must think eh, that life is very, very straightforward. You are the creator of your own destiny. So, so shall you reap. As it said in the secular world, destiny is defined as an interval fate or course of event that affects a person, but it is considered to be beyond human control. In the spiritual, I mentioned destiny is a, is a outcome of your own thoughts and actions. As you sow, so shall you reap. Karma simply means to perform action, but it is the motive or the intent of an action that will to be your own destiny. You know why we are here today? It's all because of our karma, how we live our last life, determines this life. And how we live this life will determine the next life to come. And that is how it should be. This is, in this age of Kali Yuga, what you see happen? Hate, greed, and jealousy. But after this age, this is the easiest age to attain salvation. After this age, you go to the age of Satyu, which is heavenly age. That's the age you don't need any politician, any doctor, any lawyer. It's the heavenly age. From that age, then you go to the age of Treta Yuga, Dwarka Yuga, and then you go back to the age of Kali Yuga. And this is how it should be, ladies and gentlemen. So as you sit here, sit back and reflect where you came from, where you are now, and where you want to be in the future. So once again, I want to, Baba, I want to congratulate you on the good work you have been doing. And every time I listen to you, I think you are getting better and better daily. As a matter of fact, my wife will pray for one hour every morning. And by the time she finishes praying, I will be doing everything. And even need to go to work. And she's still praying. But I keep saying one thing in this life. The hands that serve is holier than the lips that pray. What you do is give, give of yourself. See everybody as God-fearing person. Love them. Show that kind of compassion to everybody. Don't practice it. And Baba, you're correct. Your mind could be your best friend or your worst enemy. Rid your mind of all the impurities. Get rid of all the negative thoughts and have the wisdom to replace it with, powerful, with positive ones. So again, as I said before, we are the creator of our own destiny. As you leave here today, you should leave a better person and practice good principles. The principles of truth, Righteousness, peace, and love. So once again, enjoy the evening, sit around, and have a blessed night. At this time, let me call Bhaiji Viraha Raja to give us a beautiful one. Prem se bolo Sri Pavana Putra Hanuman ki. As we listen, not only tonight, but throughout our lives, we have been hearing the best way to please Lord Hanuman is to chant the name of Lord Ram. This bhajan that I'm about to do for you, it says, Ram Puja being done, Lord Hanuman, he always comes and takes his seat there. This evening, let us create that vibration as we will chant Awo Hanuman, asking Lord Hanuman not only to come where there is worship done to Lord Ram, but into each and every one of our lives. We join in this very beautiful bhajan. And as Pandaji said, if you might know the words to sing this song. Your hand might be hot in here because you're clapping whole night for Baba. You could get up and dance at least for this one too if you want. You're dancing for the Lord. Your foot could be hot in this. All, all the same, don't whole night. So I know all of you want to stretch a little bit. Hare Deva Nami Mahadeva Bara Ki Bira Nami Mahabir Hare Sri Ome Sita Bara जैसे पति रघुबीर अरे गाथ गाथ लक्ष्मण ने रोके और गत रोके राम 
अरे जनवा के अंगत में रोकी अरे पीछे नले हनुमान अरे श्री राम जी के पूजन आओ हनुमान श्री राम जी के पूजन आओ हनुमान पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्यवय पूर्णग स्वाहापहर देव गांग्यम दर्मल जलम वी ऑफ वॉटर ऑन दि पार्ट थ्री टाइम्स आचमय मे दत्म गृहना सर्वंत मंगल मत आचमय समर्पया अग्नय व्यो नमो नम हईरम अग्नय नम मंत्र विनाउ थी कफ्लावर वी फान अग्निदेव इन ऑल डायरेक्शन वर्णस्पति सोबोत नाद गंधु तुम्हारे सर्वदेवा धूपय प्रतिकर्ता धूपय समर्पया नमो नम हरिस्टिफुल आरती आरती की जय हनुमान लाती दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की
बल से जाके बल से गिरी भर का पे रोग दोष जाके निकटा न जाके जाके बल से गिरी भर का पे रोग दोष जाके निकट न जाके अजन अजन
As we take our seat and as we've come to the end of once more another beautiful night, remember to join us tomorrow night as we do conclude, as we do continue with our beautiful Yajna Shri Hanumanji Yajna. And tonight as well, remember to partake of your Arati, Prasad. Meals have been prepared for each and every one on the downstairs, so please do partake or you can have takeaway boxes if you want. And until we see tomorrow.